Right, so at the start of the season, I made some very, very uneducated Premier League predictions for how I saw the table turning out. And uh, it was woeful. Absolutely woeful. So we're going to go over my predictions now. I completely forgot I even made this video. Uh, that, that's just how insignificant it was. All right, so we're going to do something different here. Um, I saw the Irish guy do it, so I'm just admitting I'm stealing it off him. Uh, where he has a point system for everything that he gets right or wrong. Um, for everything, every prediction I get right, I'm going to give myself plus three. And for everything I get wrong, I'm going to give it minus, you know, the amount of positions that I was off by. So, for example, um, let's say I put City in fifth. They finished first, so it'd be minus four. Um, because, you know, it's fourth, third, second, and then first. So that's four. Uh, that's how it's going to work. And I, if I get minus 50 in my predictions wrong... Uh, I'll do some form of forfeit, which will be named in the next video. Now, what next video is would be... Uh, uh, might be the video on Ten Hag, because I should have my Euro predictions out before this video. And it might be a video about Ten Hag at Man United. Although it depends. I'm trying to wait until the FA Cup final. Uh, this might actually be out around that time. I think. I don't know. It depends. I still haven't edited the previous video. Right, let's get into this. So, as you can see, first play, uh, having 20 for my predictions from last year was Sheffield United and plus three points because Sheffield United finished rock bottom. This didn't take a lot of education to, to figure out that they're going to finish bottom. Now, unfortunately, from here on out, it gets really bad. Um, right, let's go. So, Sheffield, that's, that's one I got right. I don't need to say anything about this. I got them right. In 19th place, I had Luton Town, which I think was a fair assessment. I think it was a fair assessment putting Luton in 19th. Um, they finished 18, so that's minus one there. Well, I think that was a, a, a fair enough, a fair enough prediction. They done better than I thought they would. Uh, they scored a lot more than I thought they would, but again, they uh, they still got relegated. So technically, I got that one right. This next one. Um, was looking likely and it's everything in 18th uh, they end up finishing 15th but it was uh, you know a points deduction and they still finished 15th uh, what was it what, 10 points or did, it get, did that get reduced to 8 or 6 either way I think they finished like 12th if they had have actually kept their points and didn't get deducted that's just a guess though uh, I think it was around that anyway that, that's a fun fact as well but I got that one wrong Next up, Wolves, and I'm pretty sure everyone was not expecting Wolves to do as well as they did. I mean, they finished 14th, it's not great, but they were in shambles last summer, and I think it was a completely fair assessment to say that they were going to finish, you know, very close to relegation. They didn't, they were fine, but, you know, it was fine. That was back when uh, Julian Lopetegui was in charge and ended up getting taken over by Gary O'Neill. Yeah, so that was an interesting prediction. Next up, I had Nottingham Forest. And they were... Uh, well, I had them in 16th. They finished 17th. So, again, I was one off. Uh, but they were an absolute shambles this year. I was expecting it to be a little bit more consistent than what they were, but I was expecting it still to be, you know, bad. I just thought they put in more of a fight in some games and weren't going to be, you know, shitting themselves for a relegation battle for the majority of the season. You know, I thought they'd slip down eventually. Didn't turn out that way. In 15th, I don't know why I didn't predict 14th, because Palace always finished in 14th, but the Crystal Palace finished in 10th, which is huge, actually, because they finished 14th, I'm pretty sure, every other season uh, that they've been in the Prime, I think. So that's a, that's a wild one. Uh, well done to Crystal Palace. They absolutely done better than anyone thought, and they also smashed Man United 4-0, which was... <sighs> fantastic. 14th, Burnley... No, they they finished nineteenth. I, I I thought Finson Company would do far better than what he actually done. He he done absolutely terrible. I don't think he should be disregarded uh, as a coach anyway. Um, I think he has uh, a style of play, but I don't think following pet balls the way to go. I think that's a a poor poor method to do, especially when pet ball is already in the league and people are already trying to find ways to you know get past it. You don't want to do more pet ball. Uh, not really sure why it's a trend to try copy him at the moment. 13th West Ham. Uh, I think this is fair. 
considering that they were like this last year. I'm pretty sure what they finished, 13th last year? Was it 14th last year that they finished? I think that was a fair assessment to put them 13th. They finished 9th, better than I thought, but at one stage, they were in shambles. Uh, it, it looked like they were in free fall for a little bit of the season. And you know what? I think it's absolutely fair to, to put them in 13th. 12th Bournemouth, and this is the second prediction I've gotten right. Oh my god, we're nearly halfway through and I've only gotten two right. Um, yeah, again, this, this one was right. Uh, was Iriola in charge at the start of the season? I can't remember if he was or not, but I think that was a fair assessment to put them in 12th. Uh, do you know what? I'm delighted with that. That I actually got something right. And they could probably challenge for a conference league next season uh, if they keep their trajectory up. And at least in my mindset right now, uh, I'm going to be putting them quite high, actually. 11th, Fulham. No, they finished 13th. This was another uh, shambles uh, of a prediction. Now, did they actually play well? Yeah, I'm pretty sure what, what they did. They drew against Arsenal and they also bet them as well. Um, we don't talk about what they've done at Old Trafford to United. Brentford, 10th. We move on from Fulham. We don't want to talk about you know the disaster that they caused. Brentford finished 16th. I was not expecting that, and I think the reason why I put them in tent was that I didn't take into account Ivan Tony being banned for eight months. When did he come back? Was it the end of January that he came back, start of February? I think it was. I didn't take that into account, and my prediction clearly, clearly shows that. I don't know why I was thinking. I I, I don't even know what I was thinking. I must have thought that, um, what was it, Mbwemo and who's their other, other attacker? There's three of them. There's a trio. Ivan Tony's gone. Like we don't count him for that one. It was Bemo. I'm saying his name wrong. And I, I can picture the fella. I just can't say his name. But anyway, I must have thought that they would have carried. Um they didn't. They they didn't. And Bemo was injured as well for part of it. So they probably could have finished higher. Uh, but they didn't, and that's another one wrong. And at the moment we are we're not doing too well. I have to counter for the amount of points I'm on on the screen for you. Um yeah, no, I'm not good. Ninth, Brighton. No, they finished 11th. Uh, I did think they'd have a fall-off from last season. You know, I was expecting them to have a fall-off. I was right. Um, but, yeah, it's a, bit, it's a bit of a dodgy one there, that one. Um, they'll probably finish 14th next season. That's an early prediction before any signings or sales have been made. I'm predicting 14 as of right now. That will probably change coming in August. Yeah, I think August when I'm going to be doing the prediction video. Eighth, Aston Villa. This is probably one of the most incorrect ones on the list, along with Burnley. Uh, this one was bad. This one was really bad. Um, they finished fourth. I thought they'd do somewhat well. I was expecting them to get Conference League because I was expecting England to get that extra Champions League spot. Um, but they didn't. They didn't do that. Uh, and this was a woeful prediction. And I have to say, they absolutely outperformed everyone. And when I say everyone, I mean everyone's predictions. I don't mean different teams because obviously, you know, three other teams finished above them. But I meant people's expectations. they they done quite well. They're going to get absolutely smashed next season. I think Aston Villa are going to go out in the group stage of the Champions League next season. They're going to be knocked out of all the Cups before Christmas. Uh, maybe not the FA Cup. I think they go far in the FA Cup. And when I say far, I think they'll probably get round of 16. What's that, round 5? Oh, I think they start in round 3. So it'll be round 5, I think, is when they, they'll get knocked out. So what? when's round 5? The end of January, start of February, I think. I might be wrong on that. I might be wrong, but I think that's around the scheduling. Maybe it's the start of the month. I don't. I don't know. Uh, that's just a guess. As I said, they're all uneducated. Uneducated, so I can you know push videos out a bit faster than actually having put research into them. Yeah, that's that's this channel, by the way. Minimal effort, uh, minimum results. Seventh Spurs. Um, I thought they'd struggle a lot more after losing Harry Kane. They kind of did. So I had the right idea. Uh, I just wasn't expecting them to be top of the table during October I was not expecting that um, but in typical Spurs fashion they absolutely bottled you know their their title charge they bottled top four as well and they ended up finishing fifth and I was too off on that one which is a shame Man United sixth um, yeah United finished in the worst position in the Prem in 
what was it? Is it 1977 was the last time they finished that low? Or is that the most amount of defeats that they've had? I don't know which one it is, but it's one of them that's pretty bad. But as far as I'm aware, this is the worst that they finished in the Premier League era. So since 1992, I think this is the lowest that they finished, which is shambolic. He has to go. He has to go. Uh, I'll try to have that video up before the end of May. But I am, I am away at the end of May. So I might not be able to push that one out. I might still be needing editing, but it should be out you know, early to mid-June, before the Euros anyway. Uh, I am going to push for that. Uh, but you know what this channel's like. Just don't don't expect anything off this channel other than or shy. Fifth, Chelsea. Uh, they finished sixth. Um, I did think they were going to bounce back. I wasn't expecting them to just like stay twelfth. I think that's where they finished last season. I was not expecting. That. I was expecting them to get European football. They did. Uh, I just had them slightly higher than what they actually were. But they had a good end to the season, and the fact that they were. United were ahead of them for so much of the campaign. It didn't look like Chelsea were going to finish above them. And then Ten Hag Ball took over. Again, as you can tell, my my uh, my feelings on United and uh, Eric Ten Hag is, is not positive. But all will, be, all will be revealed. I can't speak. All will be revealed in that video that I have on Ten Hag. And the shit show that is Manchester United. Fourth, Newcastle. I did think Newcastle would repeat what they'd done last season. Now, they had injuries just like, you know, most of the fucking teams in this league. Um, and then I also think it was also poor tactics and management from Eddie Howe and Josh Tindall. Is that his name? Josh? I think it's Josh Tindall. Uh, it begins with J anyway, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, I thought they'd, they'd do better. But again, like I think their performance as well should be also, you know, people should be asking questions of them as well and now of course i don't think they should get rid of them keep them of course keep them um it's an off season but i think they'll be they'll be fine next season i think they'll come back and be fine for europa league third arsenal no at one point in the league i think it was february it looked like this could be a possible position for them as liverpool was doing quite well at the time uh but you know, Liverpool fell off. Arsenal kept their to push up until the final day of the season. And yeah, the third place, I, I think that was a fine prediction. Uh, I thought that was perfectly fine. Second, Liverpool, they finished third. Um, yeah, they, they they finished third, which is a shame. What's up with you? Kickouts here as well. She she's seems to be a bit of a Liverpool supporter, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, so they finished second. No, they finished third. I predict them to finish second. They had a major, major fall off, uh, which was absolutely unprecedented after Klopp decided he was leaving. They won one trophy and then gave up, is what it looks like, because they just could not be teams that they absolutely should be smashing. Crystal Palace, for example, 1 0 uh, at home. They lose. What was that? Was that Oliver Glasner's first in the game, or was it like around that time? I think it was. Who scored for them? I remember watching... Uh, I think I watched the second half of that. I can't remember who scored for them. Was it Mateta? No, it wasn't Mateta. I, I don't remember who scored for them, but it was just so out of pocket, that game, I think. It was very strange. First Man City, and that's my third one that I got right. So I gained a total of nine points for that entire... And <laughs> oh, God. So what was that? Minus 45 points, plus the 9 that I got for getting predictions right. So I end up on minus 36. That's woeful, but it wasn't minus 50, so I get to avoid a forfeit, but it feels like I've just cheated everyone out of it there. I don't even know what the forfeits are. I'm not really a forfeit channel. Uh, I'm barely a channel. I barely upload. Um, yes, but I'm slowly trying to uh, incorporate some football videos into here because... You know, FIFA's kind of a bit boring. But yeah, so City were top. Of course they are. So yeah, I got that one right. And fun fact for you is, right, if you look at my predictions from last time, eight to first are all correct. They all finished in the top eight. Every single team there was correct. It was just the order was wrong, with the exception of City. Every other team was wrong. For, so for example, like, Philip finished eight? No, they finished fourth. Uh, Spurs seventh? No, they finished fifth. United sixth? No, they finished eighth. Chelsea 5th, they finished 6th. Newcastle 4th, no, they finished 7th. 
Arsenal third? No, they finished second. Liverpool second? No, they finished third. And City first? Well, City first. So that was correct. And then the rest of the league is a bit dodgy. I got two out of the three relegation clubs correct. I got the total top eight, fine. Uh, there's a couple that are wrong. I was slightly off on a couple, like Fulham, for example. I was off by just a slight bit. Forest as well. That was another one that I was off a little bit. And then some of them are just horrible predictions. Like Palace, I got wrong. Everything I got wrong. Um, West Ham was bad as well. Burnley as well. That was a terrible prediction. Wolves, I forgive myself for Wolves because you know they weren't in a good state at the start of the season, in my opinion. Brentford, I was a mistake by me. I completely forgot about the impact Ivan Tony would have on the squad. Burnley, I, I, just, I still don't, I still don't understand that one. That that one's still wild to me. But right, I'm done. I will be doing another one of these videos in August for predictions for 24-25 season. And that's also the new Champions League format, which I also have to kind of predict, don't I? So, yeah, so the Euro should be up. Or they should be going up as this video is going up as well. Uh, and then Ten Hag video coming out soon, along with uh, Destruction of Man United, because we're terrible at everything. But that should be out after the FA Cup, which will be... When's the FA Cup? 25th? Should be out before the Euro start. I'm going to be very generous with myself. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, whatever. Uh, th these, these videos are terrible. This channel is shit. Uh, and enjoy your day.